What is up YouTube family? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Bobby back again. So in today's video, as you can probably tell, we we're going to be restoring these wheels back to like new condition. Uh, now I have tried this in the past before, but I did it very uh, unprofessionally and quick and fast. Uh, so the wheels came out kind of trash. Uh, so today's method, we're going to be filling in any curb rash or any scratches that the wheels may have. We will be sanding down the Bondo and we're going to be sanding down the entire wheel, then prime and then paint and let it dry. Then we're going to put it back on the car and see how it looks. Let's get straight into the video. Now this is a very simple and easy to do at home project. Uh, th these are pretty much all the tools that you're going to need. Your soapy water, the Bondo mixture some different types of uh, grit sandpaper, alcohol, and then some paint. And obviously the wheel that you'll be working on. And that's pretty much all you're gonna need for this simple project. Now this whole process will only take about four simple steps. First, wash the wheel. Second, use the Bondo to fill in. Third, sand down the entire wheel. And fourth, paint the wheel. Now the first step is to make sure that you clean the wheel with soapy water. And for the soapy water, all I'm using is home dish soap and warm water. Warm water because warm water breaks down dirt easier and better than cold water. Now if you can't get all the dirt out and all the dirt and grease, don't be afraid to use some WD-40 cleaner and degreaser. So once you have finished cleaning the wheel and drying it up, we're gonna move on to the next step which is actually using the Bondo to fill in all the curb rashes and scratches on the wheel. But before we can use the Bondo, we're actually gonna have to use the 80 grit coarse paper to sand down the wheel. Now the reason why we are using 80 first is because the 80 grit paper is very coarse which will allow us to make scratches into the wheel that then the Bondo can fill in. And once the Bondo has hardened, we will move on to the 320 grit paper which will then smoothen out all the Bondo filling, make the wheel back to its original feel and form. Now once you finish sanding down all the curb rash and all the scratches that you've made or, uh, or whatever the wheel may have, grab some compressed air or a vacuum or whatever you have, a leaf blower, whatever it is you have, and then blow, Just blow away all the dust. Now once you finish that, you want to just grab your alcohol and some towels and you want to clean this down as best as you can. So get, grab some alcohol, some towels, start wiping down. Reason why we're using alcohol is because alcohol picks up dirt really good and it dries very fast. Alright, so grab your bottle. like an old card or something like that that you can mix with. So once you've let the wheel dry, what you pretty much want to do is take your sandpaper. Uh, you're going to start off with the 80 grip sandpaper and you're going to sand down all those areas that you hit or all those areas that you put the, uh, the putty on or the Bondo after it's dried up. Hit it with the 80 grit, then you're gonna take your 320 grit and you're just gonna fix and smoothen out all those little sharper areas and uh, and you're just gonna basically smooth out the entire wheel. And I, I do apologize for my voice. Once you have finished completely sanding down the wheel, grab whatever source of air you have and just blow away any dust.
All right, guys. So we're up to the last and final part of this, I guess you can say, project. Now, what you're gonna do is, once you finish cleaning your wheels entirely, after you finish sanding down, uh, you're gonna basically mask up the wheels to wherever you don't want to get any paint on. So, for example, I use I use uh, these cue cards or these flash cards, whatever you want to call it. I use these yellow notepads uh, to just mask it up. And then what I did was I used some electric tape to cover the stem caps or just the stems in general so that they don't get any paint on them. So guys, first what you're going to do is grab your primer. You're going to do two, two to three coats of this, light coats, you don't want to go too heavy. Uh, you, I mean, the primer is okay. You can go a little heavier with the prime because this is a filler and, and it's sandable, so you can sand it down if it runs. Uh, so, it is a filler and it's sandable, so you can let it run a little bit, but why do that? Avoid that. So just do light coats. And a tip that I can tell you guys is, grab some hot water. Uh, Temperature between maybe 90 to 100, 105, uh, and let this sit in there for a few minutes. That just helps basically with the particles. It just helps when you spray it so that it sprays out more evenly and uh, and you can get some better paint work done if you, if you preheat this. Quick tip for you boys. So matter of fact, I'm gonna go warm this up. So once your primer has been sitting in the water for about five minutes, you're gonna take it out. Make sure that you dry it completely away from the wheels because you do not want to get any water near or on the rim. Like that. This one basically starts to shake for a minute vigorously. And spray eight to 12 inches away from whatever it is you're spraying. Always remember to wear some protective gear, gloves, mask, whatever to protect you from the fumes. All right guys, so all the wheels are pretty much primed. What we're gonna do now is Wait about 30 to 45 minutes. We're gonna come back, see what areas we need to sand, sand down with the 600 grit paper that we bought. And then uh, then we can start spraying the base coat. And then after the base coat, we'll spray the clear coat afterward and then we'll be done for the day. All right guys, so quick update. So we pretty much finished the entire project. What I did was I sprayed two more coats of the clear coat, but I sprayed uh, like two, like another one or two coats of the paint and then we used a clear coat to finish up and we let it dry for about 24 hours. I put the wheels back on the car and I'm going to show you guys how they look and then I'm going to leave you guys with some tips and if I recommend this or not. But first let me show you guys what the wheels look like on the car. So here we go. Alright guys, so there you go. This is how the wheels look in the car right now. So there you have it guys. That's pretty much it man. Um, I'm just gonna end this video with a few tips. Word of advice for you guys. Uh, so for all you beginners, one thing that I do recommend, especially when you're spray painting, make sure you start at a certain point and you remember where you started go all the way around the wheel that way you don't miss any of the wheel you get all the cracks and crevices make sure that you hit every spot and then also I do recommend when you do your last coat that you go back you check for any spots that don't look even and that don't look right and you go back and you respray those again uh, what else I, I also want to say make sure that you're very patient Try to be as patient as possible. Take your time and pay attention to detail because detail does matter in the end product. Now, do I recommend this? Honestly, uh, I recommend it, but under certain circumstances. For example, I only recommend this if you're somebody that has patience because 
this project was really really not stressful it was more annoying and time consuming and it was just a headache at times uh, I just wanted to be like alright that's it forget it I'm done screw these wheels and I'm throwing them out I'm just gonna buy new wheels that's literally how I felt a certain time I only recommend this if you also have a lot of free time and if you're broke honestly because if you have money to buy new wheels I don't recommend wasting your time doing this it's much easier quicker cheaper not cheaper but it's much quicker and easier if you just buy brand new wheels and you forget about those anybody that tries it out after watching this video please be sure to send me a picture on Instagram snapchat or anywhere I'm gonna link all those things in the description I I'm very curious to see what you guys do and how your stuff comes out turns out compared to mine I did have some spots of imperfections a few chips here and there and I could have waited maybe another 12 hours for the paint to dry uh, but it's it's whatever I, you know it was just a little project for me to see how it would turn out and uh, it, it, you know to make some content for you guys a lot of things coming for the channel honestly I like how the wheels look the white on white looks really really nice um, the fact that the wheels are stretched also makes the car look really nice all I gotta do is just lower the car which is coming up guys so please make sure you stay tuned for that I'm gonna do a coil in store not sure if I want to do springs or coils let me know in the comment section actually what you guys think if I should do springs or coils and then I will go off by what you guys say and what you guys suggest. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and as my boy Raph always says, savage responsibly. Bobby out. Peace. So what are you about to do? I'm just going to install these cannons real quick. We're going to go fight some pirates. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> you want to put them on the racks. <laughs> That's what she said.